Hey again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a haul video for this past weekend. It was very busy. Um, we started with an estate sale on Wednesday and I also went to a uh, consignment sale Wednesday night that it was like a pre-sale and you paid five dollars at the door to get in before the next day's public sale started. And so I've got that. I think I spent about $80 there. Again, when I do these consignment sales, I do pay a little bit more for the convenience of getting everything in a one-stop one shop. Um, and then Thursday started a 23-mile um, yard sale in our town. So we, we headed out Thursday and maybe made it four or five miles and ran out of money. So we decided we'd just go back Friday when was at more people were going to be participating and do it again and then how far did we make it the second day yeah, we made it like three miles the first day oh three miles and then the maybe first day six the second day yeah and it's supposed to be 23 miles 23 long. miles and it, it was it was a very good weekend in fact we ran out of money two more times so I got a lot to show you. I'm probably going to have to end up doing this in a couple of videos. All right, if you're new to my channel, I have been selling on eBay for 22 years. Um, most of that's been full time. Um, it, as of this past year, uh, eBay is our primary income. Um, and then, but I do also sell a little bit on Facebook, but nothing like with eBay. And, uh, I mostly sell toys, specifically stuffed animals, but I really love vintage stuffed animals. But we we do buy anything basically that's going to make a profit for us. But I will start with the consignment sale, which is a child's um, consignment sale. So it was mostly toys. I don't buy clothes there. So let me just show you some of the things I bought. And they... They tear the price tags off, so I don't really remember how much I paid for this. But these are Disney Parks um, Hidden Mickey. And I guess that's uh, just a, a female version. They actually have names. The girl is Shelly Mae, and the boy is Duffy. Now, these, I probably paid a couple of dollars for this. Um, and I think... Hopefully about $20, $25 for the two of them. But this is one of those lessons where, do you notice the face? The face looks like Mickey Mouse. And that's why they call it a hidden Mickey. Now there are vintage ones like this that are larger. And some of them are different colors. And I'll, I'm going to put a couple of examples up here. I have found them just a couple of times. They're very few and far between. The, the ones that caught are worth the most are what they call pre-Duffy. Like if you look at this plush, he's got a Duffy tag on him. The other ones do not say Duffy on them, and that's why they're called pre-Duffies. And a lot of them, I think they're like this big. I don't remember how much, but they, they get sometimes in the hundreds for them. And I'll put some examples up here. But this isn't anything, but I still like to buy them. Oh. Now this is Octonauts, and this is the Octopod. Unfortunately, it didn't have any of the figures with it. The figures and some of the smaller sets, really, um, you can get a lot of money for them. Some of them, you can, uh, like a little sub and a figure and its accessory can be $30, $40, $50. I don't know how much this is. I always buy Octonauts. I think this one was just a couple of dollars, which is why I bought it. And it did look like it had a lot of its accessories. It does have this, I don't want to open it. It has this um, thing that goes on the top. The batteries are dead in it. Sometimes just selling this one part separate um, can get you 10 to $20. But I'll more than likely put this whole thing together as a, a lot. These intrigued me. They are, I'm hoping they are How to Train Your Dragon. I think they were, again, just a couple of dollars. But, and you couldn't really tell. 
and they're all crammed in here. But they, yeah, they sure, sure do look like how to train your dragons. So I'll have to figure out using Google Lens how much it's worth. And then there was another one here. And usually I get pretty good money for these. Hold on. He's all stuck in the tape. All right. And then here's another one. Even the ones that were released by McDonald's, if you've still got the wings on them and make small sets, they still sell quite well also. I'm guessing he is, but he just kind of looks odd. I only watched the first movie, so I don't remember. But here's a, so three dinosaurs. I paid a couple dollars. Dragons. Dragons. What did I say? Dinosaurs. Oh, dragons. I've done that before. These, I'm going to rip the bag real quick. These are from VTech. They are the Go Smart series. I've showed you guys some of the cars, and I usually put them in lots of two um, just to keep them in, under the one pound. These are the girls that go with it. This one's a little fairy. I was going to see if they, I know one of them talks because I just turned it off. Well. Now they don't want to talk. Um, but again, I'll probably keep these two together. And I, I, I think I paid like a dollar for them. So again, just something I like to pick up. There was some little people. I, I think they were a dollar for the two. Again, a lot of times I sell these on Facebook for four and five dollars each. The next thing I picked up were this this bag that had the Toy Story figures in. I like to pick these up. I haven't purchased them in a while, but these are the larger ones. And so I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping for my couple of dollars that I can end up getting, you know, over $20 for it. So it's the car and then Woody and they've got the cloth bodies and then Buzz Lightyear. I think he's supposed to talk and there's his battery. So hopefully he'll work. Again, more little figures. These cells are good for buying this kind of stuff. This is Lion King and Lion Guard. Again, I've talked about buying this type of stuff, and then I always make sure I use the word cake toppers so that people who are decorating cakes will also be able to find these. But it's just a whole bunch of the Lion Guard figures. This is Bubble Guppies. There was a time when this sold very well for me. I went ahead and picked it up anyway because it has the little removable figure and then the car. This is Swiggles. I actually believe these come from like the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. But for some reason, I think parent, you know, when people are looking for replacements, it doesn't matter where it originally came from. They're going to pay what they're going to pay to get it. And it was just cute. And I, I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for it also. This was Potato Head. I went ahead and picked it up because I have heads with not a whole lot of accessories. So I already made one little lot out of just a lot of female parts that I had picked up. I couldn't figure out who the character was in this. Venom. Huh? It's just like Venom. Is that what it is? Oh, it's just... What I'm seeing looking at the, the face there, but maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Maybe some kind of ninja. That would be cute. I just need to go find me a potato head to go with it. It was a couple of dollars. This bag must have a lot of the stuff that I picked up in the baby section. This is a Baby Starters Owl Lovey. I haven't had one like this before, so I'm not going to really be able to quote... Uh, price for it but hopefully there'll be something right there for you i'm still thinking probably ten dollars twelve dollars and then this one is chickpea again probably a few dollars i think this is probably going to be twelve to fifteen dollars pretty sure this yeah this one's dandy I pick up other ones. This one is also a hand puppet, and I've not had it before, 
But based on just the other loveys that I pick up, again, it's probably one of them that's going to be in the $8 to $12 range. This is Crown and Ivy. A lot of times if the blankets are only a couple of dollars, three or four dollars, and they're new like this, I'll go ahead and pick it up. I'm not quite sure where Crown and Ivy is. It's ringing a bell with me, but I don't know if it's a Walmart or some department type store. But I just thought this was cute. Thank heaven for little girls. It has a little pillow and a blanket, and it's obviously new. Another lovey. This one's got all kinds. Oh, this one's got. This is Cloud Island. It's a. I think I've already sold one just similar to this. Probably, again, $15 or so. And this one does have its tag. Another lovey. Again, a lot of these were 2 to $3. This one is Love in the Air. I've not had it before. It does have its original price of $4.99, so I will take that tag off. But this is my first Valentine's Day. Just cute. And it has the, the knotted ends that I've talked about before. But again, I'm still thinking a lot of these are going to be $8 to $12, which I'm fine paying a couple dollars. This one's a little bit larger, I want to say. It's Hallmark, little green frog. It's got a little cute collar on it. Again, probably still in the $8 to $12. Sometimes I'm wrong, and of course I'll try to show the if it's definitely a whole lot more than that, if I can find comps. And then this one is Carter's. It says Smile, another frog. Bought all kind of a sloth. And again, this one's Cloud Island. I'm hoping sloths just seem to do better for me. So I, I'm hoping this is probably $15 to $20, but we'll see. I think this was a dollar, and that's why I picked it up. It is a little live pets. Um, I have a bear. I think I found it a recent sale and it, it was okay. It was like 10 to $15. So I thought I'd go ahead. You know, this was clean. Hopefully it works. Um, and then again, hopefully it's in the 10 to $15 range. Oh, this, I think this was $3. I'm not, oh, there's the tag. I think it was Carter's. Yeah, Child of Mine Carter's. Very large baby blanket with this, I'm guessing maybe a dog, maybe here on the end. But I'm hoping, you know, this is something that's $20, $25, if not more. And then the last pig thing I picked up there is this Chuggington train tracks. I've talked about these before. I did pay $15 for this. I don't know if I saw any... It's making noises. I didn't see any trains with it, but I do have a few that I've just been holding on to. And usually I've been listing these probably $40 or higher. We'll see if hopefully it, it makes a complete set of tracks. But I always do pretty well with Chuggington. These next few items I, we picked up at an estate sale. I'll just start with the jacket. I don't normally show sh sh show clothes. I almost said shoes. I think Chuggington is still talking to us. But we think we pay either three or five dollars for this. I don't remember. But it is obviously NASCAR, Hendrix, Gordon. Motocross, Dale yeah. Gordon. Oh no. Good grief. What's his name? <laughs> you're, you're, you're humiliating me here. <laughs> Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon. <laughs> I have a blanket. I remembered. All right, but I think it was, a, yeah, it's a large, looks vintage. Um, Robert looked this up and it was selling for about 20. No, 40. Oh, 40, about 40. There was somebody who had done an auction, which 
a lot of times that doesn't go well. Oh, the auction ended up less than two dollars. Yeah, but just something different. I picked up a few plush there. I think she probably fifty cents. I tend to do quite well with any of these plush that are like devils, and this one's dandy. But again, it's probably still going to be in my nine ninety five range. And then this one intrigued me. It was nineteen ninety nine. Um, Toys R Us, but it says Lissy, and I know Lissy is a doll, so I'm, maybe this came with a doll. I couldn't find any comps, but I didn't look real hard yet. I did pick this up. It had a few pages that were colored in, but this is Vintage Lisa Frank. I know that because the word is written, capital letters. I have some other coloring books that have somewhere or have been written in and I'm going to probably end up just making a lot and it probably won't be for a lot you know like $12 for three or four of these but somebody who collects these purple dogs might want this and just display it so they won't care that a few pages have been colored we did pick this up at a yard sale I believe and I think we paid two dollars oh yeah it's the same one as them I paid two dollars for it there are some that are anywhere from like 20 to like 80 dollars this box has some issues it looked like a lot of the uh, I'll show you a lot of the little parts are there but it is missing quite a few marbles so I'm still hoping to list it like about $25 once I get the, I mean, it's very dusty where it's just sat in a garage for years. But I thought that was very cute. At that same yard sale, first, I bought this. This, I paid $15 for this, but it is sealed. It's probably only worth about $50. But I just couldn't, I couldn't leave it there. But this is, this was this same yard sale was $20 and the box is all beat up and it was taped where you could tell it had been opened but when we got home I was showing our 14 year old this set and we opened it up and all the bags are inside sealed so this sells for new about $199 I was going to list it for $150, but my uh, stepson wants to buy it from me, so I'm going to make, he's going to pay me $40 for it and put some Lego sets together that I bought the other day. So it's a win-win. He gets something that, you know, he might have got at Christmas, maybe, and he only has to pay me $40. But he is tight with money and he, would, he wouldn't buy it. He wouldn't buy it if I said 100 bucks or 150. He'd go without. <laughs> <laughs> All right. While we're on the, well, let me do this one. Same yard sale. I walked by these because I saw they wanted $5 for them. I walked by and then when Robert came around, we were looking at it again and I scanned, we scanned each one. He did one and I did one. And one of these, I don't remember which one is the 30. Mm -hmm. This one sells for about 30. And then we scanned this one and there's a, a sold for 105. They're just Zelda. They're both sealed 3D puzzles. So my thoughts on this is I may go ahead and put the two together and list it for probably 150, 160 and hope that somebody would want this at Christmas time. Same yard sale. Um, I picked these up. She wanted $2 each. I've not had really good luck this year with video games and video game systems, but I keep trying. These were a lot of the Legos. This one, the city, the Hobbit. The Lego Movie, Lego Marvel. If they're not a, worth a whole lot separate, then I may make a lot of these and then just go that route. There was this World of Final Fantasy. Again, I have not scanned these yet. 
but for two dollars I couldn't resist and then this one was also Final Fantasy and all of them um, had their little books and the games I bought so much stuff at that yard sale I couldn't resist she only wanted 50 cents this is a Cheshire Cat Disney mug probably ten dollars and then this was Starbucks I think it was an older date 2017 I have other Starbucks mugs so if it's not worth a lot then again I'll just combine them or put it in my booth we went to a yard sale and they weren't even finished unpacking all of this stuff was just sitting in a trailer but she had all of these precious moment puzzles and she only wanted two dollars each for them and they're all sealed so I thought I'd go ahead and buy these let me show you the other two and then when I got back to my vehicle I was looking into them and these are actually cork board puzzles and somebody had listed two of these well it had sold two of these together for forty dollars so I thought I might go ahead and just put all four of these together and maybe list it for like you know eighty eighty nine ninety five I'm all about the nine ninety five at the end of my stuff and this this final fantasy one mm -hmm. make sure you do it as the I think the deluxe edition because this is a special case and all that right it's like 50 bucks yes there you go maybe hopefully I'm redeemed because with the it's video not the, games it's not the typical yeah let me show them it's uh it's metal it's a tin collector's case and I picked up another puzzle now I bought some more puzzles but I'm going to show them in the next video you checked this one out right wasn't it no. you just bought it I like we're that. puzzle crazy puzzle people and we really like these are they the Wysockis right if not they're similar yeah where they have these scenes we just enjoy these all right and then oh I bought this it was early 2000s also 2004 it didn't have a lunch box in it but I think she only charged me 50 cents for this so I thought you know I may go ahead and just you know hopefully it's gonna be one of my 995 listings I'll grab this. and then Robert picked these two things up how much did you pay for this two I think two dollars it is a vintage navy um first aid kit and when i saw it i've mentioned this before i was in the military for 13 years and i was supply so i saw this number it was like just kind of a blast from the past but this one's pretty stocked and the comps were about 30, 30 about 30 dollars for this and then he also got this at an estate sale. It is a vintage Marlboro sleeping bag. I'm not going to pull it out. But Robert said when he was pulling it out, it didn't even seem like it had ever been used. I don't know if it had ever been unrolled. Yeah, it, it hadn't even been unrolled. But he opened it up because there's two different types. There's this one, which sells for about... 20 I think 20 $25 because it's of its condition I'll probably go a little bit higher but then there's also a mummy one where it comes up over your head and you know and it sells for about 50 so we didn't we were hoping but we didn't get that one a couple of more smalls this was vintage Viewmaster. I picked it up because a couple weeks ago I bought some vintage reels that were like I want to say a team and stuff like that but I didn't have one of these to go with it so now I'm going to redo my listing put this with it and hopefully be able to you know raise my price substantially and then Peppa Pig it didn't come with any figures or accessories I think she charged me a dollar for it um, just very cute I may hold off until I get more figures I think I have some I may pull and put with it or I may just list this I think somebody had it listed for about $15 all by itself but I like Peppa Pig all right I think that's it for this round 
um, we again had an amazing weekend. We are covered up in inventory. I am trying desperately to get a whole bunch of stuff listed, but it just like this weekend, there was just, we stayed out Friday till five o'clock after five o'clock. It was just all day long. So I hope you guys are having as good a sourcing as we're having. Um, I hope you're getting your stuff listed for fourth quarter. I mentioned this in another video. I've, I'm trying to get like a thousand things listed in the next few weeks. We'll see. All right.